Um, I'm, I'm using, I've got white spirit in here, low odor, I must say. And I'm using, I'm just mixing up down here an ultramarine and burnt umber, which is the sort of colors I use. So I'm gonna get this in really nice and dark because there's some lights there and the darker this is, the, the better the lights are going to show up. If I get the drawing slightly wrong, I can, I can lift out and get the drawing um, more accurate. But um, I'm squinting at it as well because I want to make sure, yeah, I want to make sure that I can uh, make lights against darks and darks against lights. So if there was a dark here, I'd have to lighten this area over here. Oh, no, look at that. It's not at all symmetrical, but not to worry. I can, I can correct that. And so this, at the moment, it's a very thin mix. Um, as I say, I've been experimenting with backgrounds. I've even put some black on the palette. I don't usually use black, but you never know, I might. I thought it might be useful. Use a big brush as well. These brushes I'm using, by the way, they're uh, Rosemary and Co brushes, which I love. This particular one is uh, an Eclipse Long Flat. It's from the, um, yeah, the Eclipse range. It's a number, let's see, six. It's a good idea to put out all the colours you think you're going to need. I'm just dipping into the remnants of a and the lizard and crimson down here, and I haven't got much left. I'll see how far I go. <laughs> One of the dangers when you're painting is if you run out of paint, you're just scratching around trying to stretch it out. And I'm doing what I tell people not to, I'm doing that, and I should really just recharge my palette. Never mind, I should carry on. This will dry quite quickly. especially as I've got the wood burning stove going nicely behind me. It's horrible outside, it's trying to snow. Right, I'm gonna put some of this ultra in here. I don't mind that it's dribbling down there, that's quite nice. Um, I've got some lovely shadows. I, I, use, I don't usually use this um, yellow, I'm experimenting again. I don't usually use such a, a strong um, yellow, but. I just thought it might be helpful to help get the glow from the glass. So I'm just indicating to myself where the shadows are. I get, I'm still really working very, very thin. I've got um, colour I don't very often use. I've got burnt sienna on my palette. So that, no, I've just used a little bit of black with that because it is, it looks to me black and I don't use black on its own, but I've just mixed some black in with that burnt sienna to try and get that depth of colour down there. I haven't got any white use. I try and, if I'm using and I want the glow, um, white can kill it. So I'm just using translucent colours at the moment. I haven't even, I'm not using even any opaque colours. Now, underneath this waterline, that is very dark, but it's not black. So I'm going to go back to the to the burnt sienna. This is why I've used this light colour because I'm hoping to get a bit of a glow coming through there. So this is reflecting this dark background here. Now I've got here, and I think it might be not translucent. No. I think I've got a clean brush and I'm going to go for Indian yellow because I know that's translucent. And I'm mixing it with a tiny bit of, oh, that's nice. Mix it with a tiny little bit of burnt sienna because that's much lighter there. I feel as if I'm working in watercolors here. So the, the background colour is actually coming through quite nicely. I'm just going a little bit yet more yellow down here. And at the top, it actually looks orange. Look like it. Oh. I need a cleaner brush here. A bit 
too much of the brown on there. But back to the white spirit. And so let's go back to the sort of a cleaner brush. Let's try a little bit of, oh yeah. This is cadmium red I've just add with, added with this. I'm not clever enough to have two cameras going so you can see what I'm doing down here. If anyone can know, tell me how to do that, I should be more than grateful. So I've added some cadmium red into this. And now a little bit more, but yeah, I quite like it being thin like this. It does give that glow, doesn't it? Uh, more red into there. And we've got some lovely colours coming in. So little bits of red down here. And the top of the bottle. Again, it, the, the, in here I'm seeing this behind, but it's got, it's a little bit warmer. I suppose it's reflecting from here. It's a little bit warmer than this. I'm going to get down to the actual sp spirit level, I suppose it is. Maybe a little bit, try a little bit of blue in there. So I've just added a little bit more ultra into that, just to give that, that more of a contrast. It's quite dark there too. Add a bit more in there. I've, I still need to make this shape right. And probably at the bottom. Well, I've got that colour and I see a very dark colour on this. This is cut glass, by the way, which is going to be challenging to say the least. Right. Now I need to think about this. Um, I can see a shadow through the glass of this bottle, so let's put that in. Probably a bit dark. It comes up through here, it comes up through that glass there. Now to the background. So this edge of this glass is reflecting nice and light. So we get that in. Oh, it's a bit too, it seems too dark. But we can always work on that. Not really sure where I'm going from here. I'm going back to the, let's get the label and this is really dark now yeah it is ta just a tad lighter on that edge of this label on the neck of the bottle. Get that on there but it's got all it's quite light there, but I'm not, not going to touch the white yet, or the light colours, because I, I don't want to get my brushes sort of contaminated with the lighter colours just yet. I'm looking for the lightest areas first and getting that in. Get rid of that line. So I can probably leave that translucent. Some really quite dark bits in here, but I'm sticking with the lighter colours at the moment. But recently I've been really interested in edges, so I'm trying to, I shall try and keep the edges quite soft. So I've mixed now, one of my favourite colours is um, King's Blue Light. I've mixed a bit of King's Blue Light because this edge of the bottle looks quite grey, so I'm going to get that to where I need to get the shape right. Come down to there. Add it there. Slightly lighter on this edge. I 
check it. Still can't see if that's symmetrical. So where else have I got this colour? It's on this edge of the label, this neck, and under there. Just blended that in a bit there. It must be darker up there. Okay, so we've got this. Um, this would probably be a better colour actually for the Shadow. I should be using a bigger brush too, but I hope. Yeah, that's a nicer colour. Softer, isn't it? Make sure that's straight. Follow it through. Oops. My arm jerked there. Good move. I'm keeping this thin because I should have the glass here with some lighter colours for the uh, for the cuts glass. Becky Thump, this is this is difficult. Because the uh, shadow goes up into the the cut bits. If you know what I mean. So there we go. So I haven't painted all over this because there's some reflections from the glass going on into there. Make some more paint though, don't just try and spread it out. So again, that's got the King's Blue Light and the Burnt uh, Sienna in that. We've got that shadow coming there as well. It's quite nice actually having this little bit of purple, it lifts it a bit. Yeah, I like that colour. So there is, on the rim of the glass, there is a very delicate dark. But it's mostly and some lighter bits on the bottle. I really want to start looking at the rest of the picture. It, it is a mistake actually just to concentrate on one area, which is what I'm doing. There will be some light, it's a, some reflected lights there. So I'll get those in now while I think about that. Some light at the top as well where the label, let's just put a glass in there. And some, yeah, I'm just, just using some of this lighter colour now, so some of these marks on the glass. It's much lighter on that edge, I shall get that in there in a while. Well, it's beginning to come together. Let's, let's do some of this yellow now. Let's try and get some background. So I need a bigger brush. I'm using now uh, slightly, this is, um, again, this, this is a number eight long flat again it's a rosemary eclipse brush so color of background I so say it's sitting on a white background but I don't want to use white um, it, it sort of needs to complement everything and so I, I'm using white the white I'm using by the way it's a fast drying white it's um, it's a griffin alkyd which means that anything I mix that into will dry very quickly. Uh, it's handy when you're traveling actually to use something like that. Um, right, okay, so I'm going to use some of the color I've mixed. So it was a bit of a, a yellowish color. I think I'm gonna have to just take that off because it's muddying up my white. Let's start again with that. So this is where you can correct any mistakes on the bottle. Um, that ran down the edge of the bottle there, didn't it? Oh, look at that. Dear, dear. As I say, this will dry very quickly. So if I wanted to, I can quickly tomorrow just, just tidy that up. I've, I've using a I've mixed King's Blue Light into this at the back here, because I don't want that too strong. Again, like I say, I don't, I don't like the, we don't want straight lines, so we can blend all of the background in. You still can make an indication of where that is. So although it's um, 
not translucent because I've got white on my brush. I've just dipped into the alizarin just so we could have got some. Oh, I don't like these. Okay. And we can add some opaque colour into the back as well. Again, you can, this is where you can correct any mistakes. I've got a dirty brush. That's, that is a very naughty thing to have. Really, I should be doing this with without any white on the brush and then going into it afterwards, but maybe that's a slightly cleaner brush. I know it's a white background, but it didn't really go, did it? I think also, um, again, because this will dry quickly, what I could do tomorrow if I wanted to, I could just glaze over this with a few drops like I've done with the background here over this yellow I could drop some colours down but I just want to um, make it interesting really so I've picked up picked up some of this orangey colour let's put some of this in so it's sort of reflecting the colours that we've used in the picture so I'm going to put some of this down here as well so it just picks it up That's probably a bit better, isn't it? You have to be careful of doing this. You can end up with muddy colours. If you start moving colours around after you put them down, they do get very muddy. So watch out for that. Um, so I'm just mixing a little bit more. Let's try something else over here. Let's, this is a very dirty down here. Let's just go a bit stronger there. You set yourself up and doing something like this. So just have fun. Just, if it goes wrong, it doesn't matter. It's only a piece of board after all. And if you make mistakes, oh, sorry. Goodness, dogs. I threw one out, but I forgot to throw the other one out. I kept the quiet one in here, I thought. Right, so let's, yeah, let's got some more colours in. Um, we could put some lights up here. We haven't got anything light against this, so we could probably, no, no, doesn't need it there. Lose that a bit. Go into that back edge of the bottle. It's really quite light. I've got to follow with the label of that edge. I might pick up this dirty bit, by the way. I'll tell you what I can try and do. I just try and lose that with a clean brush. Let's see if I can wipe that out. So I've just got white spirit on here. Just lift that out. That's better. we have gone right back to the whiteboard now. Doesn't matter. You can use that, actually, if you wanted to get it. So on here, for example, there is quite a strong highlight on this edge. I can... lift the paint off for that and again there's just a turn of a highlight on here again I can just lift that off you don't always need white I'm still not sure if that's symmetrical I'll have a look in a minute yeah so that line where's my Rigger. This this is a rigger. This is a rosemary. They do riggers, which are very useful. I can tell you. So I can lift. Can you see? I'm just lifting that out there because there's a nice reflection. So that means that line was too high. So I'm just going to lift that out. Can't see it there. But inside, it comes down inside there, and there is a. Line at the back there. Mm, it's looking a bit messy then, though. Anyway, let's just get this label in. Now I've cleaned that off, I should be able to get that on without getting my brush too muddy. Don't know if that's straight. 
again, you can, yeah, I should probably have to trim that up by painting the side bit. Not a problem. This is distracting, isn't it? I think I'd better just get a bit of colour onto that. The top of the cork, it's, um, looking at it, it's, brownish colour. Inside the bottle, just there, I see a white edge. This might be a bit light, so I'll leave it for now. It's a reflection there. It's lighter on this edge too. Right, let's go back down to this glass here. That edge, that's light on that edge. I need to lighten that, but this is registering dark. I can see that's not straight there either. I need to bring that down to there. That's better. Inside, yep. It doesn't take much just to go out of um, alignment. This edge is the light edge here. Again, I haven't painted it, I've just lifted. That's white spirit, just on the fine edge of this brush. And there's a lovely light edge there. I'm looking, rather than using white, I think it's sometimes it's easier just to lift out. Which is why it was quite a nice idea to use that translucent yellow, which wasn't quite dry. So when I do this, you can actually go right back to the white uh, underneath the yellow. I'm just lifting out a few highlights down here. It's quite a useful thing to do this. Quite therapeutic as well. Here it is. These are the paints I use, by the way, Michael Harding. And the reason I use them is that uh, um, very highly pigmented, which means which means you don't use a lot of paint because you don't have to squeeze a lot out. Right, so I've just put some more of this. It's permanent orange again, Michael Harding. I have somewhere. I know I've got a translucent orange. I think that was the Messini one. But I don't know where it is. It's in one of my boxes somewhere. Right, okay. Make sure I've got a clean brush. Okay, now then, now I've got a nice dollop of orange. I'm going to try that. This, I have to say though, this orange, lovely as it is, it takes ages to dry. And the Indian yellow. Yeah, I'm using neat. Need to lift out there, don't I? Look at that. Let's see. Oh, that works. That's nice. Then let's lift out there. Just that lovely reflection of the whiskey with the light coming through it. And that's lighter than what I've got. Let's try lifting some of this up a bit. What's a soft edge too? There's no hard edges down here in these reflections. So let's try and just work out how we're going to do that. There's some light, just pure white from the spotlight coming yeah. through as well. And I'm just lifting that out. Mixing slightly thicker paint now to put that on there because it was probably a little bit on the thin side. Bring it up into that burnt umber, burnt sienna, sorry. And with the burnt sienna, I'm going to just tidy this edge up. I don't, I don't, I don't want tidy edges, but that was a bit thick. I've got that label there, haven't we? <laughs> it bulges a bit there, it looks more like a Corvossier bar, bar, glass bar bottle. Now, right, let's get some dark. Let's try and get some of these shapes on here. I'm going to put my brushes down. 
I'm holding on to one of them because I'm going to use it like a mild stick and just get some darts in. So this is sort of kind of a greyish colour. Using the oh dear, my brain's gone. Um, can't think and paint. King's blue light and the and the umber. Just putting this on. It's got a nice colour, isn't it? Inside the glass. On this edge. <laughs> Again, I've lost the symmetry there, look. that very well did I? Because I've used it there I need to use it just to help it hold together. Yeah that is much lighter there than on that side so I can lighten that. Use some of that on that side. There's that edge. That's the gap in between the shadows there. A bit messy. I don't really like the colour of that shadow. I might have to go back to that. And um, let's have a look. Where am I? Yeah, that edge. Yeah, I can see what's wrong. This label here is not straight. It's making the bottle look crooked. I just need to straighten that up. Mix the right colour. It's much lighter than the uh, liquid inside. Make sure I get that straight. So I can use this as a Straight edge, make sure I get that. Oh, that's better. It wants to be the same level as that. So as the the light goes around, it gets a bit darker on this edge. Lost that bottom edge, I'm going to sort that out in a minute. Now then, let's have a go, let's get a few highlights in. Just looking to see where the light is. Bit. So I very rarely use pure white, it gets too cold. This is why I put some of the Naples in here with it. Trying to follow my marks. You don't want to follow the, make it a complete circle either. Just try and keep broken lines. Your brain fills in really all the rest of it and what what's happening. There's a lovely oh, lights in this. It's sparkling. Not all of it is as bright. I need to lighten, uh, darken some of it. It's not all sparkling. It's, it's picking up the light, but it's not sparkling. A bit more on there. 
no, this is this is more highlights now. Pick out the little sparkly bits. I'm trying to. I do say less is more. Oh, I don't know. Is it working? I'm not sure. I need to stand back and look at it really. I'm standing on top of it talking to you and I'm not really standing back and doing what I should do. That's the wrong colour. Just need a bit more light on here. maybe a bit of reflected light on this edge we've lost it you don't need to define it all but sometimes it's a good idea to have the reflected light no let's just still look at this again this is why if you turn it upside down it's easier to get that um, edge the same that one there yeah much lighter there that's a lovely bit of sparkle on there Coming down That might be a bit light there. Oh, God. Get a nice little sparkle in the bottom of this. I think it might want a bit of orange in it. With the white, it doesn't have as much uh, impact as, say, that, which has got the white shining through. This is why... Uh, a lot of artists will glaze because you get the colours shining through it. It's something that I've not really ever got into doing myself, but it would be a very useful thing to do. I'm looking at this here. I don't know why that's smudged there. Is that paint? Or... I think I'm going to have to put some paint on that. Let's start off with just putting some of the orange on. That's probably too orange. Where's my burnt umber? Right, burnt umber. There we go, that's better. Tidy that up a bit, that we square that off a bit. But we don't see all that, so I'll bring that down again. And that's a bit of a hard edge. I'll move my finger on that. Let's see if that's straight. Ish. I seem to have gone a bit wide with that again. Just use the burnt umber just to take it up, that's better. Again, you don't want it as a continuous line. Broken lines, quite good enough. Right, um, top of the cork, it's not quite right. That's better. Yeah, so lights against dark, starts against lights, um, a bit darker there, just to show that edge. Still looks a bit rotten there. This is the test. <laughs> it's only an eighth of an inch, but it makes all the difference, you know. If I don't do it, it will annoy me. So I need now just to make that wider. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a bit better. That doesn't match that side, of course. Is it in the middle? Well, you can see what I'm doing, can't you? There we go. I can always make that neck a bit wider to make it, make it in the middle. There we go. Who's to know? Hmm. 
Right, so I think I'm getting near the end. I'm getting to the stage where if I'm not careful, I'm going to start fiddling and I don't want to fiddle. Well, I do, but I'm not going to. Again, that's too light there, they're not darker. Um, you see, you see what I mean about fiddling? You can just keep going, can't you? That wants to be lighter there. Give me the bottom edge of that glass and does it match up with that side? No. So there's a lot of writing there, so we just do a few dots so you... There we go. And then of course it's proof. Ooh, proof is it? 40%. I'm not going to do the 40. There we go. A bit of a correction on that shoulder again. I will get it right. Haha, <laughs> that's better. And though that hasn't matched up there, I think the brain tells you it goes there. I was just putting there. There we go. Oh no, wrong colour. I'm trying to finish off, you see, and I'm going, not thinking about it. There we go, that's better. No, that's too light. Goodness, oh well, never mind. Um, yep, a couple of highlights now on the bottle where my lamp is shining on it. If I've still got my white and, uh, no, I haven't, I've used it. So I'm using my white and um, yellow, uh, Naples yellow. That's a little bit of on the glass. Just looking for anything else that stands out as a really strong highlight. Probably one on here. Let's just we can get that one. Just on that edge. Just on there. Like, oh, come on. Because there's sparkles inside the glass that are um, no, I think I best leave it alone there. Again, I don't want edges on that. And the edge of that glass is lighter than I've got it. I see, I told you, I keep going back to it. Right, stop it, no, that's enough. Yep, I think I'm going to finish that. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, I did this picture yesterday. Now, I came in this morning to my studio and I had another look at it. And the thing is, when you do that, you see it with fresh eyes. And the, one of the first things I, I noticed was that this background was probably just a bit thin and a bit on the blue side. And it, it didn't seem to fit in with anything else that I'd done. So what I've done is I've gone over it again, um, still with thin washes, and I used black ultramarine and alizarin crimson, that's the one. Um, so I've given it a wash, and that gave me a chance also just to square up the shape of the bottle, which is quite useful. Um, the other observation was that the foreground was, was too orange and it was detracting from the colour of here. So I've taken that down a bit. I've added more white with touches of blue and bits of pink. Uh, the shadows, I've lightened those. I used my King's Blue Light. And also I observed that there were some little light reflections, sparkles coming through the glass from the light. But generally I didn't do an awful lot more to it. I straightened up the label added a little bit more 
of this is just neat orange in there. I've just added that and uh, generally um, I think that is finished. So I am going to finish there and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.